Hey guys, this is the AppCache tutorial, and I'll just try to explain a little bit of what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to have our website, the Blue Developer Directory, and I just put a little link in the bottom called Info Page. And if you click on it, I mean it's just a it's just a page with um, some dummy text, but we're going to pretend that this is a a, a company page that needs to be accessed at all times whether you have an internet connection or not so we're going to use the app cache strategies that we just went through in the slideshow to make this a page that will always show no matter what and we've been working on my local machine and I can't really show you how it would work because all the files are local they're all offline right now but what I'm gonna do is upload the files to my server so you can see them live on a server and then I'll I will disconnect my internet connection and you'll see that we'll still be able to reach this page alright so let's get started once again we're in the section 3 program files and the done is this okay and it has our manifest file here and our HD access file we're going to be uh, creating those as we go now so I'm just going to copy the HTML folder, the one that doesn't have any of this in it yet. I'm going to copy it and paste it on my desktop. And Okay, so I'm going to open my index file in the browser first and then I'm going to open it in notepad the first thing we should do is is create that info page so I'm going to create a little link for it um, right in the footer we want to link it to info.html We'll just call it info. Save, reload. Oh. All right, so there it is. Uh, let's change the color. So we can see it. Okay, so if we click on it, takes us nowhere because we don't have the page yet so what I'm gonna do is take the about page I'm gonna open that I'm gonna copy everything that's in it and close it open a new file paste it and then save it as info.html and now I just want to get we should be able to go to it now I just want to get get rid of all that content right up to the section and then I'm just going to change this to uh, blue web developer directory info and I'll just write this page is cached alright so now I just want to get some dummy text and I like to use the lorem ipsum you just generate a paragraph of crap just text to fill up your site copy that and I'm gonna paste it in here we're gonna surround the paragraphs with paragraph tags so that it's formatted nicely my OCD my web developer OCD save that reload alright so this is our very important page that we always need access to and we haven't done anything to do with app cache yet we just created the page 
let's see so next what I want to do is what I want to do now is upload everything to the server okay so I'm gonna open FileZilla and I have a site called techguystaging.com which is where I do all my client and all my development work and I'm gonna go to my test directory and we're gonna put the files there alright so now they're uploaded now we can go to the actual live site by going to techguystaging.com slash test so now we have a live site right now anyone could go to this URL and come to this site and it's the same thing we've been doing and we have the info page right here okay so right now I want to create an HT access file and I'm gonna do that by going to notepad plus plus and there's only one short string that we need to put here and I'm going to get that right now and that's this we just want to this file the file needs to be served with a content type header of text slash cache manifest and then use the the extension that we're going to be using for the manifest file so we want to save that we want to save it as dot HT access. Make sure you have the dot. So that's right there. Now the next thing I want to do is create the manifest. So again, new. And we want to save as. I'm going to save it as developer developer dot um, manifest okay and in here we want to have the cache manifest um, and then you could put usually you put the date uh, so 2013 uh, what's the date two now we have to have the cache heading and so we want first of all we want index HTML we want info dot HTML now if we keep it like this we will get those pages but it'll be just a straight plain white HTML page with no images, no styling. So we do want to include um, the background image and the CSS file. So first let's do the CSS file, which is in a CSS folder, and that's called style.css. And let's get the in images, we want the background dot PNG image because that's the the background of the all the all of the pages on the site. So that's good for now. And then we have the network header. Actually, we want that all caps. And what this is is it's these are going to be files that require the user to be online to view. Just put this comment right here. Whoop, we need a hashtag for the comment. And right here we would put something like login.php. That's not a real file we have, but that's something that like what you would put. And then finally we have the fallback. And this just means a file you would want to to use for a file that wasn't found. So what I'm going to do is paste in 
this and what this means is that for any HTML file that's not found and cached we'll have the off offline.html file okay so I think that's it that's what we need that's all we need here uh, I'm gonna save this and next thing oh another important thing we need to do is we need to open the index file and in the HTML we need to make sure that we have the manifest attribute and then we and then we would put the name of our manifest file which was developer dot manifest and we also want to do this in our info file so I'm going to copy that open the info file do the same thing um, yeah yeah all right just making sure everything looks right here uh, yeah okay save let's close that close that um, yes we want to save this that's the manifest we can close that HD access just want to make sure oh we should we got to create that offline HTML page so I'm just gonna create a new blank page and just say um, this is your offline page. Oh. Save that as offline dot HTML. Okay, so now I want to upload all of that. I'm going to upload everything and just replace everything that's on the server. Alright, so now if we go to our live site, everything's in order. Go to the info page. So everything seems to be good. Um, I'm going to open a little tool that comes with Chrome and it is the developer tools and I just want to show you in the con this isn't something that uh, you should be doing yet uh, if you don't know what you're doing but I just want to show you one thing so remember we have the index HTML and the info HTML pages cached okay so if we click on home it brings us to index.html and you can see over here that it's creating the app cache with the manifest and all that stuff but if we go to about us nothing we didn't cache that page but if we go to the info page down here you'll see the same thing it's being cached so that is a, a great way to tell if your caching has worked or not um, I don't know what this is about application cache Resource fetch, f resource fetch failed. Um, hmm. That's strange. It gets it here, but not there. I'm assuming that's not going to be a huge problem. Um, but what I'd like to do now is make sure it's cached and shut off my internet connection and see what happens. Okay, so. Uh, right now I'm going to shut off my connection okay so if I go to about us there's nothing but let's go back to the home page I mean now uh, the info page It's not working either. Um, 
Let's see. There's got to be something missing here. Huh. Manifest looks good. You know what? Let me copy something. Let me copy this and just because they might have missed something, so I'm going to use the um, manifest from the final site. Save that. I just want to see if that works. Oh, I can't see if that works because my internet is cut off. All right, uh, let me get back. All right, so I'm back now. I'm gonna upload that, and that's my local. I want this. All right, so I'm going to gonna make sure that this is re-upload, okay? And I'm also going to take the HT access from the final build and upload that. And the other two files, index and info. All right, so now let's reload. Let's look at our uh, web developer tools again. Uh, let's go to the info page. Application cache checking event. Get GPL plugins. Oh, that's shouldn't have to worry about that. All right, so now let's go cut the internet off. Disable. And first, let's try an external site, we'll say Google. So we're off the internet. And index HTML, we can still view. Now, about us, nope. Browse developers, nope. Now, the info page works, it's cached. So these two pages that we specified in this document index HTML and then it th is that the right one let me get the other one don't worry about any of this I'll have all the files that actually work <laughs> in your in your um, program files because we got info index and then see if we didn't have this background image cached which is this gradient back here, we wouldn't have that. If we didn't cache the CSS file, this would all just be a blank white page with just words. Um, so, and, and even this, even if you look here, images web, this is this image. If we didn't have this there, this image wouldn't be here. So, um, I mean, that's how you use application cache in its simplest form, and it's pretty useful I mean if you need if you have pages on your site that you need always need access to then um, the, you know application cache is great for that so uh, that's it for this section in this tutorial uh, I will see you in the next section